I had someone write the other day and ask why the NIV changed rust to vermin. It's really an interesting historical analysis, I think. Jesus says, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and brosis destroy and where thieves break in and steal. So the question is, why do some translations say vermin, or in the case of the Net Bible, a devouring insect, where we have always had rust, such as in the ESV? Well, it's really interesting when you go look at a dictionary for brosis, the basic word means the act of partaking of food. In other words, eating, consuming, and then the food itself. And in the middle of number two, BDAG says, the interpretation corrosion or rust finds no support outside of this passage. In other words, rust simply isn't a definition of brosis. Now you can understand if the word means to eat, you can think of rust as eating metal, but you would have to have a really specific reason to do that. It is interesting that in one of the other uses of brosis in the Bible is in James 5.3. It says, your gold and silver are corroded and their corrosion will be against you a witness of them. In other words, there is a word for rust, corrosion, but that's not the word that's being used here. The word is brosis. So the real question is, how did rust ever get into Matthew 6, 19? And it appears that it's a choice that Tyndale made many centuries ago that then got reflected in the King James. But it's one of these translations that simply has no basis in fact. Now, Tyndale was working with much less information than we have, so this is not to critique him negatively. This may have been the best thing he could think of, but it's not what the word means. The word means to that which consumes, that which eats, and is often used of like a locust or animals that eat food. And hence the NIV and the Net Bible understand it properly to be some kind of insect. So we're talking about specifically a moth, or another kind of insect that will eat material. So as always, we go with the most normal standard default translation of a word, unless there's something in the context that really urges a secondary meaning. 